Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Welcome back to my channel. Well, guess what? I'm ready to bug out real soon here, and I got my van all set up. So I wanted to show you what I got going on in here and the setup I'm going to be using while I'm on the road. So let's check it out. Okay, this is it. This is my no-build setup in my 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan, and I'm really, really excited about it. I love the fact that I have all this real estate up here in this part of the van, so I can just relax. I, I have a chair. I love that. With this setup, I can just have a chair in here and sit down and relax. And here's my refrigerator, my jackery which is going to be powering my refrigerator over here you can see i have this tray that i got from aldi and hung it back here and this is going to be a nice little addition be able to eat with it use it for uh, you know my dinner uh, my drinks my laptop whatever ipad just whatever it's going to be awesome and i just love the fact that i have another little counter here the only space i had before was the top of this refrigerator and that was great but uh just having something that i don't have to worry about moving stuff because I would have to do that to open my refrigerator. This is going to be awesome. So this is great. All this space up here for me to live comfortably while I'm on the road. Now this bed here, this bed is made from a four foot lifetime table that fits perfectly between the walls of my van here. I have a carpet going over it. It helps uh, the mattresses not to slide around, and it also prevents the table legs from scratching my van walls here. So that's what's going on with that little carpet there. Now the mattress pads here, the one on the bottom is a self-inflatable camping mat that's on the bottom. This here, the one on top of it, is the original cot mat from my Coleman Comfort Smart cot so let's go over here try not to bounce around and i'll show you what i'm talking about this blue thing is a sea to summit sleeping bag insert and i use it kind of like a pillowcase for these long mats anyhow this is the original um, mattress pad that came with my coleman comfort smart cot i upgraded that as you know to a three inch foam and uh, i saved this so i'm glad i did and underneath this is that blue self-inflated mat camping mat so both of these together on top of the table along with this afghan and this quilt make it exceptionally comfortable and again i'm only 5'2 so this fits me perfectly so if anyone is under 67 inches this is going to be a good fit for you too let's talk about the storage that's underneath here Okay, so this is my drive trunk organizer, and as many of you know, I chose an open top container for my storage, for my clothing, and all my necessities. I just think it's a lot more convenient and uh, easy to manage uh, rather than having bins and lids and things like that. This is my Blue Eddy AC50S battery, 300 watt. That's an extra battery I have. That is my mummy sleeping bag, and in between there is going to be my portable toilet when I get that out, and I'll put that up, and that's where that's going to go. Over here, this is my utility bin. This is another trunk organizer. I got that one from Hey Trip, and uh, this is another little fantastic trunk organizer, and again, I just love open top organizers. I just think they're a lot more convenient, and um, they just look a lot better than bins, in my opinion, so... This is where all my storage will be, is under this bed, and everyone knows that I like all my stuff put away. I don't like anything out, and this makes for a perfect place to keep all my stuff. Over here are my heat shield reflectix. They slide right in next to the wall, in between the wall and the bed, and they'll go there every time, every day. When I'm done using them, I'll put them there. And the one behind the chair here rolled up. That one um, is just kind of sitting in there, and I have it inside of the uh, seat belt. Keeps it nice and secure, and that's where those will stay. So my storage in this van for this trip will be under my bed and up in the front seat here. I will carry an, an extra water up here, and I do believe I will put my extra shoes up here this time as well. So... This is the setup, and I think I'm really going to love it. One thing I want to add is that these rugs, all of these rugs here, 
our throw rugs. These gray ones here are extremely absorbent and they get all the dirt off your shoes and uh, I love it because I can shake them out every day. This red one, I just like it because it's red and red's my favorite color. Underneath these, I have these utility carpets and underneath this one, this is an old bathroom carpet I had. I put an extra little carpet here simply to uh, kind of buffer that bar. So, and that, that actually does help. So when I come in here, I don't feel those bars from where the seats hook into. So I love throw rugs. I love the fact that I can keep my van very tidy and very clean every day, just shake them out and put them back. So let's go around the back here. Here's my camping kitchen. I love this thing. My neighbor gave it to me and uh, I need to make a video about this. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But this was built a long time ago by my neighbor's grandfather and uh, she gave it to me and I am just so thankful. I love this thing. I've got all my utensils in here. Basically only what I need. That's what I bring. Just some cleaning things, paper plates, pans, gases for my stove and a little coffee pot. But everything fits in here and uh, I'm very thoughtful about what I bring. I only bring what I need. So this kitchen is outstanding. It's really served me well, and I love it. Collapsible sink. This is a little stool. I might not need that this time around because I have a different type of a setup, so I don't know that I'll bring that. There's my water pump. This is my cat litter, but I do believe I'm gonna go get some horse pellets for this time around. My toilet paper my toilet, which is going to get put together and it's going to be up underneath my bed. And this is three gallons of water. And that pump here, that little pump, sits on the water jug here. The silicone tube goes down. There's a button that you push, water pumps it's out. It's a great little way to access your water. All right, this table here is a brand new little camping table and I'll be uh, taking some video of that when I get to my destination. I'm really excited about this little table, but that is where that lives. And let's go around here. Ah, look at that. See all these little things flying out of the trees? My tree is budding. I actually blew the entire driveway off yesterday and it's full of these little things again. Here's the thing, the fact that these are carpets that can come out and be shaken and put back. That's why I love them so much. See, so when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna shake these carpets out and we're gonna be good to go. Remember, everything we bring in our van is something that we would need. We don't wanna bring things that we think we might need just in case because that's where the clutter begins and we do not wanna be cluttery van campers. And the idea is to house us comfortably, not comfortably house our stuff. That is the idea, at least for me. Oh, there she is. This is my best neighbor, Beth. She's the one who gave me this fine kitchen. I just told them all about you. Tell us, Beth, about this kitchen. Well, it was my grandparents, and I know they traveled up to Alaska and around through California and up and through, and they used that for their camping. And he built it? And he built it. Yeah, so she showed up on my doorstep right when I was thinking about building something. And she says, do you need this thing? Do you want this? Yeah, and uh, that's how I acquired it. And Beth just came over to probably say hey, but she just cut my grass, so thanks, Beth. <laughs> She's my best grass cutter. I who your lawn person was. Yeah, oh, it's this lady named Beth. <laughs> okay, guys, well, I'm so glad Beth popped over. But anyhow, that's it. This is my setup. I'm heading out soon, and I think it's going to work out great. And I'm really excited about it. All right, everyone, I will catch you later. Until next time.